You can't be bound to old ideologies, old methodologies, or your creativity is going to stagnate. This is the Cardi method. Every time you step outside with your camera, you're given the chance to see the world new. But how often do we as photographers fall into the trap of routine? We go back to the same location, we use the same settings, and we even process our images in the exact same way. Why? Because it's comfortable. Comfort can be the enemy of true creativity. I realized something extremely interesting. Creativity doesn't thrive in routine. It blossoms when we actually break free from it. So consider the fact that both God and man are both designers. Everywhere we look, we can see the intricate designs of nature, but also the intricate designs of architecture and of human interaction. But to truly capture those designs in a way that resonates with others, we have to see every scene, every moment, every subject. That means breaking free from the routines and the habits that limit our vision. I'm sure you felt every time you go on a trip or you travel to a new place, you're like, oh my God, I'm, thank God I have my camera. There's so many things to shoot. It's because you're seeing something your eyes have never absorbed before. So it means challenging ourselves to see the world as if it was the first time that we've ever seen it. I used to be someone who only shot during perfect conditions when it comes to light. I mean, I, I only shoot direct sun in the perfect condition because it's when the light's the most flattering. But as I progressed in my career, I realized when you limit yourself to just one type of lighting, I was missing out on that beauty that different times of the day started to bring. So I started shooting at different times. I started training myself how to shoot when the light was bad. And I know that this sounds so counterproductive, but I started training myself how to shoot at midday when the shadows are harsh and the contrast is high. At first, it's uncomfortable, but it taught me to see the world in a new way. And that's when my work really started to learn out because what I learned is how to shoot in open shade. When I was 23 years old, I moved to South Beach, Miami, and I lived in South Beach and I was a photographer in South Beach working for all the agencies shooting the craziest models in the world on the beach and I'd be shooting and my model would be jumping by and I'd look and there'd be a, a Linda Evangelista right there and I'd look and it would Bruce Weber shooting Linda Evangelista like right next to me on the, like what I learned was I didn't want to be where everyone else was shooting. I wanted to be in the alleys in of Miami and the slummier areas of Miami, the Miami that people, the South Beach that people didn't see. That's what I wanted to shoot. So I started taking girls in dresses and in bikinis and shooting them in alleys up against graffiti, which is very much my style and what I've been doing for like 35 years. So learning how to shoot in bad conditions, learning how to shoot when the light was wrong, what that meant that that I could shoot anytime, any place, anybody in any condition, because I knew how to shoot in shade. And that's when my work really started to blow up is because I learned how to do something different and embrace a new way of making photographs. So breaking free from routine is the key to creativity. Breaking free from routine, breaking free from routine, that truly is the key to creativity. If you're stuck in routine, how do you see the new? If you're anchored to the same ideology, the same old methodology, your creativity is bound to stagnate. It, like You can't be bound to old ideologies, old methodologies, or your creativity is going to stagnate. There's a relentless force in our lives, whether it's societal expectations, the pressure to conform or fit someone else's vision or even our own fears, all of these things are trying to distract us from doing the real work.